ignore the pole. But we got a quick phone update on this bad boy because we've changed a bit. Obviously, it's put back together. So here's what we got. I sanded, prepped, painted, and cleared the engine bay. We got a nice shiny silver. Nice shiny silver. I have good coilovers on this car, so we got some BCs, dude. Um, chassis harness is all put in. Nice. The blue tape is for, if you look at where it's at, it's like around where things sit. Zip tie, that kind of jazz, the fenders, because this is all just mocked up to see what it's going to look like, and then I'll mount it for real where I know it's going to go. Um, so there's that. But the main area that we had to deal with here is this corner over here boom it looks a little different than stock but that's kind of what i wanted because there's a bunch of bullshit here that isn't needed so this whole entire piece right here is new this entire piece right here is new this entire piece all over to here is new so all of these corners everything here is all brand new Underneath here, probably a little dark, but all of this brand new seam sealed. It looks like poop right now because the seam seal is wet, but everything is solid, structurally sound, 100% golden. There's a couple things we need to get for this. As you can see, we're looking dead on that. That control arm is definitely off center there. And we have a caster issue with this car because of the crash and the bent stuff. So what we got to do is we got to get this nice little brace thing um, from Part Shop Max. Should be easy peasy, and that'll make it to where like those will mount up better. And then we'll get adjustable lower control arms to adjust the caster right. But other than that, 100% okay. Other than the fact that like it's a little twisty, but that's okay. It's okay. We have an FD. That's all that matters, okay? Just saw Montego Blue. If you're FD guys, ARC7 guys, you know. Montego Blue FD, tan interior, left-hand drive, manual, 70,000 miles, original engine, no fixings of any sort, $40,000. That ain't me. So, we got this. We're going to make it work. Oh, most importantly, not really important. I got the Chase Bay stuff back in there, so it looks nice. All backed up in there. I posted a video on how to install this back in the day, back in the garage days. And it's at, like... 12 13 000 views so <laughs> big rock chase base if you're seeing this dude um but anyway quick update with that the bumper is just thrown on to mo to mock this up um these fenders here are quite blasted so we're probably going to end up getting different i like the front bumper okay so same front bumper fiberglass fendies because those are damaged and metal ones are expensive and we need it wider for the lower control arms that we're getting and the side skirts when it bolts up it like just covers that vent that's right back there you see and it kind of, i don't really like how it goes up this high and it, it's just kind of like a weird look you can see like how dramatic ooh, how dramatic of a side skirt it is it's like a bricky side skirt, in my opinion. It's very angular, kind of like what this is. But this car is very swoopy, you know? This is like swoopy, but it's like subtle, angular swoopy. So I feel like it doesn't really match. So eventually we'll get a little different kit. Same thing with the rear bumper. But just wanted to jazz it up so you guys can see what we're working with here. There's a dude that wanted this. You better fucking watch it. So yeah, we're dialed in here, dude. Lots of work. It's currently, I think, 9 o'clock at night. 8, 8 35, 9 o'clock at night. And so I just get off work and then work on this thing. Ooh, another, another quick thing. It's, it's getting long. Phone video is going to suck to upload. Carpet's in. Dash is loosely bolted in so I can connect harness stuff. Steering column is in. Center console stuff is in. Seats are in. Back seats are in. All the back carpet stuff is all put in. All the trim stuff back here is put in. Everything's Gucci back there. And if you go back to some of my older videos, you can see that we took everything out of here. Bare shell. And painted everything in here. Resealed everything. So this car should be really nice. The only thing that sucks about it is the drivetrain. We still have a rotary engine for it. We're, tr we're getting it rebuilt. It's at the shower right now to get rebuilt. So whenever that gets back, this is technically a couple day job putting in the new engine new rebuilt engine and getting it to run and start again 
So that's why this is all happening. Imagine should be coming soon. So this happened. But long term, rotary probably ain't gonna work out. So if anything, it might be one of those or something that still makes Japanese noise, i.e. cool idle and turbo noise. So let's use the train as the ender here. Enjoyed myself catching up with you gentlemen. But uh, it's time for me to close up shop, dude. So I'll see you when I see you. What a garage, dude. <clears throat> Just work hard. Stop giving up. Don't be a bitch.